There are some actors who have been a part of our entire childhood and have grown up with us throughout the times. Years away from the spotlight that earns you recognition from fans can definitely cause one to fade into obscurity. However, there are some roles that are so iconic, they made their mark in comedy, no matter how small the role. Ernie Klump Jr., better known as Hercules, falls into that category. Jamal Mixon's portrayal of Ernie Klump was so good, despite the fact that he didn't have much to work with, laughing and farting at the dinner table was one of the most memorable scenes in The Nutty Professor. And Jamal Mixon had cemented himself as an exceptional actor next to Eddie Murphy. Jamal and his older brother Gerard have appeared in quite a few films together and their presence on screen is always felt. After spending over two decades in the industry together, they provided more than enough laughs to keep us entertained for another two decades, which is why the Mixon brothers will always remain unforgotten. Gerard Mixon was born on May 24, 1981, and his younger brother Jamal on June 17, 1983. The California natives, like many of their peers, were no strangers to some of the obstacles they faced while coming up as kids. We grew up from the neighborhood. Fortunately for us, we had good parents behind us. I had a lot of my buddies that went to jail. I know a lot of my buddies that got killed. As a way to keep their kids away from temptations, the Mixons would allow their kids to pursue acting. Jamal would end up being the first Mixon brother to hit the big screen with his first film role in 1996 at the age of 13, and you guessed it, The Nutty Professor. When Jamal was interviewed on The Adrian Monroe Show recently, he credited his mother for getting him that role. My mother came to me and said, you know, I heard they're doing this audition for this movie with Eddie Murphy. They're looking for a chubby kid. Let's go out there on Saturday and let's see if we can get it. Jamal and his mother went to the audition where he was told to eat some food and laugh for the role. The director, Tom Shadiak, liked what Jamal was doing and invited him to the production studio to meet Eddie Murphy himself. Once Jamal met Eddie, the director found that the chemistry was perfect and Jamal was awarded the role of Ernie Klum Jr. The role would place Jamal in the minds of millions all thanks to an infamous dinner scene in the comedy. Murphy, who demonstrated his wide range of character work, would yell out, Oh, Hercules, Hercules! After the Nutty Professor in 1996, Jamal and his brother Gerard would find themselves in a cult classic when they appeared in Def Jam's How to Be a Player the following year. This was Gerard's first credited film role. In the comedy, they both played brothers who would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with stand-up legend J. Anthony Brown. We had a ball shooting How to Be a Player. Actually, we wasn't even supposed to be in the movie. We met Russell Simmons in Vegas at a Mike Tyson fight. He met us while we was clowning and was like, man, I gotta put y'all in my movie. We got back to LA, my mom called up there, he wrote us in, history in the making from right there. In the whole scene really, we came up with it. Me, my brother, and Jay Anthony. <laughs> If it ain't the double scoop twins, <laughs> they've been four and been four shot. <laughs> Thick and thicker. What the heck with you, you old drunk? You don't know nothing. You know, if I had a side of a mountain, I'd kick your fat ass. Are you a bastard? Uh -uh. Oh. As time went by, Jamal would go on to guest star on numerous sitcoms like Malcolm and Eddie, Moesha, and had a recurring role on The Parkers. In the first season of The Parkers, Jamal played a young Professor Ogilvy who was overweight in a flashback scene. Two seasons later, Jamal returned to the sitcom in a brand new recurring role as Kim Parker's boyfriend, Alan. Jamal appeared in a total of six episodes of The Parkers between 2000 and 2002, becoming a popular character in the series. In addition to television, Jamal stayed busy with film too. In 2000, he returned as Ernie Klump Jr. in The Nutty Professor 2, the Clumps, House Party 4, Down to the Last Minute, The Cookout, and Gridiron Gang. Now as far as Gerard, he would go on to appear in the same episodes of Malcolm and Eddie and Moesha as Jamal. In 2000, Gerard was cast in Me, Myself, and Irene, co-starring Jim Carrey. The year after, he would join his brother for House Party 4. Gerard has also had roles in 2003's Old School and Steppin' the Movie. Now, in 2004, Gerard would team up with his brother again to act in The Cookout. 
Now, as years would progress, the brothers would appear to begin to take issue with the offers and roles they continue to receive. We get offers still, but it's always the same thing. They just want us to be these dudes that's going to sit on set and eat all day and smoke weed all day. I'm trying to branch off, bro, into some whole different shit. According to Jamal, he is currently working with his brother Gerard to get the rights to the cookout. In the original film, Gerard and Jamal played Willie and Nelson respectively, two brothers that get invited to their cousin's cookout in his new house who just got signed to the NBA. Jamal explained that his version would be Willie and Nelson's own cookout and he's currently writing the script while attempting to get the rights to the story and characters. In addition to this, the Mixon brothers are also in talks with Netflix for an upcoming project. They've yet to disclose the details. Now, in an attempt to show Hollywood they had more to offer, the Mixon brothers would star in their own film, White Tea, in 2013. The movie would be about two twins, Henry and Herbert Weatherspoon, who would win a t-shirt and get the opportunity to perform with one of their favorite rappers. When the shirt gets stolen, the twins go on an adventure to get it back. The film would also star Faison Love, Tony Cox, and the late Tommy Tiny Lister, who was also a producer on the project. The film will mark the first time the Mixon Brothers were the leads in a movie. In 2015, the Mixon Brothers will follow up with another film, Cracula Goes to Hollywood. Now this is the last credited film role for both brothers. In 2017, Jamal would go on to return to TV by guest starring in an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Jamal had stated that he loved the role because it gave him an opportunity to do something out of his comfort zone. While the Mixon brothers haven't appeared in a movie or show in a few years, it appears as though they're still trying to get several projects off the ground. I think Little Duval said it best, living your best life. If something doesn't go the way I want it, all right, on to the next one. It's been parts that we wanted to get that we didn't get. Ain't no tripping. The Mixon brothers have had a consistent career in show business. Whenever we see them on screen, we know they're going to make an impression no matter how big their roles are. Gerard and Jamal are figures you might not know by name, but once you see them, you'll immediately remember the laughs they've given you over the years, which is why the Mixon brothers will always be unforgotten.